Hi friends, uh, bringing to you again another prototype of a simple project. Now here what exactly we are trying to do is, uh, this is for safety of automobile vehicles and in general seat belts have been given uh, for driver security but uh, rarest of the cases does a driver apply the seat belt. So what we are trying to do is enforce the driver to wear the seat belt and unless and until the seat belt has been wet, the vehicle would not uh, move. That's what we are trying to achieve. Here is my sample Arduino board that is uh, controlling the entire thing. It's a 12 volt battery. Uh, we have a three relay units, two relay units to control sort of a caliber lock that we have provided with the uh, seat belt. Now the concept here is as soon as user pushes the seat belt over here, the lock gets uh, open. I mean the lock gets closed and the user can drive the vehicle. We are using a simple vehicle model which is uh, been driven by a simple geared motor. Now uh, unless and until a user uh, wears a seat belt, it uh, should not allow the user to move the vehicle. In order to move move the vehicle. We are using a simple touch switch over here with uh, Arduino. You can see this one here, Arduino, and we are using a simple key that uh, shots to port of Arduino. Now, let us see the demonstration that it works. If you look closely at the board, this is my uh, circuit, and first thing that I'm going to do is put my key soon as I put my key, the ignition lock will get open. But I have not wet the seat belt. So what it does not allow me to do is, it does not permit me to move the vehicle. You can see that I am still holding this, but the vehicle is not moving. Now, the user needs to put on the seat belt. So I will take the seat belt. And I will put the seat belt over here soon as I put the seat belt you can see the lock automatically locks the seat belt so that the user cannot push it and get it open so it is permanently locked and as soon as the lock has been applied user can make the vehicle to move so you can see and when user does not move the vehicle the lock will be still open and I will be moving the vehicle when it stops the lock the temporary lock gets open so that user you know uh, in traffic or somewhere where you have stopped the vehicle temporarily user might choose to uh, keep open the lock so Whenever I am making it move, after it stops, lock gets opened and gets closed automatically. Again when you move the vehicle, again when you move the vehicle, it gets moved. So this way, it's been provided security. Now, uh, once you take out the key from here, I'll be taking out the key. Soon as I take out the key, it gets open directly. The lock gets open so that user can now remove the seat belt. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. See you.